today is May the 8th, 2016. <clears throat> I'm going to make a quick video on showing you uh, what the power of logarithms are. The word power there meaning the usefulness of the words log, of the, the usefulness of logarithms, that is powers of 10. Uh, the logarithms that we're using are from base 10. 10 to the first power would be 10. 10 to the second power would be 100. 10 to the third power would be a thousand and so on. Well, here I'm going to use a, a common uh, device that I have. It's an old uh, uh, audio amplifier over here. And right here is an oscilloscope that I'm going to use as a spectrum analyzer. This is called a fast Fourier transfer type of display, but I want to show you something. I've got it all connected up to dummy loads and everything. And the output, we're looking at the output right here. We're looking at the output of this amplifier right here. And see that pulse right there? That is the output of the amplifier. But everything's turned completely down, absolutely to zero. It just goes to show, one, how extremely sensitive a spectrum analyzer can be. And the amount of power that's coming out of this right now with everything at zero is extremely tiny. You would not be able to hear this at all over a speaker. You'd say, well, it's turned off. The volume's down. The volume's down everywhere. So let's start cranking up the volume and then look at what this means. And, and I think it's a pretty good illustration of logarithms and the powers of 10. Let's get just what we're looking at there. Okay, so that's basically zero. That's a very, very tiny amount of power coming through the amplifier. Now I'm going to raise it from right there to, whoops, see, right there. From right there to right there is called 10 decibels. And a decibel is one tenth of a bell. So from, when I raise it from right there to right there, that's one bell. 10 times. When I raise it from there to there, it's 10 more decibels. 10 more decibels, 10 more decibels, 10 more decibels. So when I raise it from here to here, I raise it by a factor of 10, then 10 again, which would be 100, and 10 again, which would be 1,000, 10 again, which would be 100,000. So what it does is it lets us see the tiniest of signal there, and this right now the power coming out of the amplifier is 10 times what it was. Now it's a hundred times what it was. Now it's a thousand times what it was. Now it's 10,000 times what it was. Now it's a hundred thousand times what it was. I can't raise it another 10 times. It just won't go that loud. But it allows us to see ex ex uh, very large variations in power. And that's what we're looking at here is power. Not voltage, not current, but power in this case. So it allows us to see a factor. We just raised the power by a factor of 100,000 times. Pretty interesting. You'll find that that'll come in really, really handy for you someday. And if you look at the whole scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 10 to the 8th power. So from the very bottom line to the very top line, 10 to the 8th power is a factor of 100 million. That's the power of using logarithms in, uh, in mathematics. Otherwise, if this were a linear scale, then this could be 1 watt and 2 watts and 3 watts and 4 watts and 5, 6, 7, 8. That'd be all we'd be able to see. That's just an, an example. And we can make it a linear scale, and linear scales can come in really handy sometimes. But uh, a lot of times we need logarithmic scales, and uh, that's a good example of powers of 10 and logs. Hope this helps.